I want to demonstrate the application or the seated application of the unloading harness. Um, so the first thing you want to do before placing the harness is approximate the size of the patient. And this takes some experience, but you'll get better with time. So I can take and adjust the back panels here a little bit if I need to. If I need to make it a little bit larger or wider, I just adjust those out. Um, so I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger, air, air on the side of being a little bit big here. Um, and then once I've got those opened up just a little bit here, I'm going to go ahead and place this around the patient here. So I'm going to be lean forward. Good. And put your arm through there. And then we want to tuck this down as far as we can. As far as you can get that down behind them, the better. And if you need to, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and lengthen these um, shoulder straps up a little bit just so I can tuck that down even a little further. So I'm going to lengthen that up by just pulling up on these or lifting up on the orange tabs is the easiest way to do that. So lean forward again. We're going to tuck that down just a little bit further as far as we can. Good. Now you can go ahead and lean on back. Once we've got that in position here, we're going to take our front belts here. We want to get this again nice and low so we're going to capture the pelvis area here and tighten and snap in our front belts. Got two front clips here. I'm going to snap those in place. And then real critical here is just getting these as tight as you can that the patient can tolerate in a sitting position because as they come to standing, it's going to loosen up on, on, on them a little bit. So as tight as they can tolerate and still breathe, um, the better. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and take up some slack here in the shoulders. Don't want to take it all the way up because again, as they stand, this is going to take, they're going to take up some of that slack as they come to a fully upright position. Okay. So now we've got the top piece of the harness on. We're going to start to put the lower piece of the harness on by, first of all, getting our lower part of the harness. And we have two thigh cuffs here and they're marked with a L and an R for left and right. We want to orient those so that they're in the right orientation, the L and the R, so that we're going to place one underneath the left leg and the other one underneath the right leg. Okay? And so we're going to go ahead and take the left thigh cuff and we're going to place it underneath the leg. And sometimes you can just kind of shimmy it like this, lift their leg up, maybe lean to the side a little bit, shimmy that up as far as you can, and then go ahead and just take up some of the slack in that cuff and just does not be real tight. Now we're going to take our right. And so we've got our right here and we're going to, I'm going to just turn this a little bit here to give us a little more room. And we're going to take the right and slide it underneath the right thigh. And we're going to like clip that into place, take up our slack. Next thing we're going to do is take our red seatbelt buckle here with a red webbing attached to it. And that's going to come up to this front buckle here that has the red push button. So we're going to snap that in. We're going to take up some of the slack, not quite all of it, because again, as they stand up and their hips come into extension, we're going to take up some of that slack in that process. Same thing on this side. Take up some of that slack, leave a little bit of room in there. Okay. So when they come to standing, that'll take up the rest of that. So then if we have our overhead support system, whatever that may be attached to these uh, triangular rings here, typically we're going to use that to start to bring them to standing. And as they come to standing, so go ahead and come up to standing and turn just a little bit now for me. As they're coming to standing, you're going to attach the two back belt buckles here. So turn around further. There we go. It's going to show them here. So these are going to attach to the belt buckles that have the black push button. And we're going to cinch those up. Cinch those up. And now we have everything positioned and ready for activity. So, nope, there we go.